Hello, it's been a while. Um, I'm, I don't remember my YouTube name, but I'm here to show you guys a deck that I made. I've been recently watching Black Clover, and I'm actually a fan of one of the characters named Zora, who uses um, trap magic. So I decided that it'll be fun to build a, mainly a trap deck, and just to tro troll my opponent. As I can see here, this is actually one of my. This is actually the one I just got finished doing. Yeah, I haven't defeat. I, I have won a few duels, but mainly by forfeit. I haven't really defeated anybody, but I just like this is just so funny. I just want to show you how like how this duel went. The purpose of this, the purpose of this deck I made, I call it Zora or Zora deck, because Black Clover he uses trap magic, and this is mainly just a trap deck. It isn't to win; it's just to troll my. It's just basically to troll my opponent. I play very little of any. I really try to cut down the number of monster cards. So I play very little monster. I think it's like three monsters in this. It's a four card deck. I think it's like three monsters. Now, one thing I have noticed with the deck is good for is like I may have not been able to deck out or defeat anybody by getting light points down to zero. But what I have been able to do is get this light points really down like to like a thousand. Like, is that, it's been going down to like two thousand, a thousand. Um, this deck is like still a work in progress. <laughs> yeah, but it, I find but it's really funny because like nobody can do anything against me because I'm just not summoning any monsters. Hey, we go, we we went until like fifty. <laughs> it's funny because. Cause I bet they're just waiting for me to summon a monster, yet they can't do anything. Cause that's how like a lot of these decks work. Here I do have an extra deck, and I was thinking of using some Paleozoic or some Phantom Knights or just some Toki Generation cards. But like, but I was trying to get like, I, but I would just like, I just couldn't be bothered because I have the deck, so I just honestly couldn't be bothered. As you can see, I took eight thousand life points. I didn't have to do it. I have Torrential Tribute and Dark Hole. I don't even use these dog cards, I just kept stalling like it actually got to a point where my point of twelve cards. Um it actually got to a point where like I just if I just if I just kept stalling enough you know, people have deck out. <laughs> I won some I won some duels, I won some duels and I lost some duels. Pretty much all the duels I won are basically just through forfeit because my opponent know they can't because they can't do anything. Because I, I don't be summoning any monsters, so my opponent knows that they can't do anything against me. So like so they basically just forfeit. Right, here we go, turn thirty as you can see. I have two dark holes I don't even use. Now this was a problem. I I early the duel because like I, when he used this the first time in the duel, yeah he, he just forfeits. He I actually won against a sky striker. I'm not I'm not even kidding. Like this one is against ooh, which one was it? Oh it's against Tenya. My opponents know they can't do anything against like It's funny because I don't say Um like I said that's same Kai card. I mean, it was a problem the earlier, at the beginning part of the duels because uh, my opponent just couldn't like, cause my opponent didn't have no like trap cards, I, ha they didn't have any, any set cards, and I did. I wasn't able to, um, I wasn't able to do anything. Thank God, goodness, I had dog cold. That's the only reason this duel was even able to um last this long. Okay, my the purpose of this duel, the purpose of this deck is not to win. It's basically just to troll my opponent. Like we all know for 
we all know for a fact that the opponents I've been playing against are just look at me using all these star cards and they'd be like, you son of a bitch, I swear to God. Oh yeah, I mean, I, I remember this dude because like, because he used this card twice to bounce back um Swords of Reveal and Life. He did that twice, so on the third time, he, like he just let Sword, like he knowing that he, like he just knew if he was just, I guess he wasn't able to destroy it, so he just knew that um if he bounced it back in my hand, I'll just keep playing it. So, he, so I'm pretty sure his mindset was, let him just get, let him just play Swords of Reveal and Life. At least that way, I won't have to deal with it. Ooh, which I want to guess like I almost defeated a Shadal deck. It was a I don't know I guess Shadal dinosaurs he he used dinosaurs and Shadal I don't I don't know so I almost I lost yeah he, like yeah he, like he killed me I got his life points down to a thousand that was the duel before the um heroes. I went, uh, my first, my first duel of the day, oh, this, this happened yesterday, my first, my first duel today was against At Ignisters, and the thing is, like, um, I had some counters, but I think he had Link Garibo, and he also had the Tuna Monster in his hand, so, but, like, he, but he just forfeited, I guess he didn't know that if he summoned the, um, Synchro Monster, he would have been able to return some cards to my hand, now that I think about it, it's return the, Return spell trap cards up to a number of moss and next to the monster your opponent controls. I think he will he, he will have only had two, so he was only gonna bounce back two. But he still has a link rebo, which I, I, he could run um, he he could negate traps. Oh this is going on twenty two. Again, it's just to troll my opponent. Like I I do win this one. Like, all the duels I have won is mainly because, oh yeah, 1600, using nothing but trap cards, spells and trap cards, 1600. Yeah, I do win, but only because my opponent just forfeit the match. Here, here, here's that trap deck. The way I did it is, I did 10 draw cards. So, 10 draw greed, 10 reckless greed. I mean, three, as you can say, three, my bad. I did three Hero Mantles. The reason I did Hero Mantles is because I knew since spells and trap cards like, was a, a big thing in the meta, that I'm pretty much just punishing my opponent for giving my trap cards. So, like, like some of these trap cards is like, well, you could just, like, unless you bounce back to my hand and banish it, if you just straight up destroy it, then, yeah, I'm going to punish you for destroying my trap cards. Yeah, it's like six spells, three monsters, and the rest are just trap cards. Um, the Kazu self destructive button if like one thousand points of damage to my pl to the player who destroyed this card. So mainly it's just gonna be my opponent. I'm gonna switch one of these. Uh, one you have noticed like um I, I did this about, like seven times, not only once, and that was like in like the last like the second to last. I was in did this card get destroyed? So I think I'm just gonna replace it with um Legacy of the Yata Garu. Just draw one card. And also one day a piece is the whole thing. Like the reason I didn't play one day a piece at first is because like I just wanted to stall, so I honestly just wanted to stall. I didn't want my opponent getting no advantage. But now that I play this deck and I see how this deck work, it's like it's like um uh, like I, it's like like I won't be taking any damage to my opponent next turn, so what? Why is this such a big deal? And what I know about this trap card deck is like a lot of these trap cards because the way they work is that that even even if my opponent do try to destroy like MST or Twin it, I can just like just play the card like like if my opponent have like a full a full monster and they try to Twin Twister like my threatening war and my draw agree, I can just change change them both. And still go off the effect, which basically made the twin twister was basically useless. We got dimension war. The reason I have magic seal, I was debating magic seal there and ring of destruction. The reason I'm not doing that is because these cards obviously said targets. 
these targets. I'm trying to not target the moves since a lot of monsters have the effect like they can't be targeted. So it's like, and then that's why I'm doing the mission wall, which it basically it basically um, inflicts the damage that I would have taken. So my opponent tried to attack me for blue eyes, play the mission wall instead of me do, taking three thousand points of damage. They will be the one. Um. Storm Mirror Force. Because the reason I play Storm Mirror Force is because of the rule. Um, since a lot of decks are extra decks heavy, like Salomon Grays and the new Cybers and At Inisters, Pendulums, for instance, like all oh, yeah, DDs. Because a lot of decks are extra deck heavy, when they have like a when they have like five extra deck monsters in the field, just play Storm Mirror Force. And instead of just going back to the hand, they go back to your extra deck. So all the materials are in the graveyard or banish or what or how and the and like the main the extra deck monsters are in the extra deck, not the graveyard, so they can't monster reborn it or something like that. This does come in handy. There, there have been some deck which I wish I would just destroy the monsters. Like I actually went up against Pendul like um in like Pendulum and Daimyo, the new spellcaster card that had like a stretch deck like two months ago, the one that used the spellcaster for Pendulums. Um, yeah, um, I I got Storm Mirror Force, and I'm like saying to myself like I don't want to play this because like it was just because there's a Pendulum, it just bounced back to the hand. So I was like, that was one of the instances where I wish I had Mystical Space Typhoon. Uh, I also did consider using Fang. Of I decided to, I also did consider using Mirror Force Dragon, but by then I only had one slot left, and like, and like, plus I wasn't, I was using Storm Mirror Force, not regular Mirror Force, so like, I guess, eh. I don't see. Um, Swiss Scarecrow, it's like, it, it, it works like half the time. When people were using Call of the Grave, like, like, Cisco code don't even work. The thing is, like, um, because it's, it's just negate an attack, I honestly, I was hoping that people would just want to take it seriously. But no, some people take it seriously, just carve out the grave it. It was just completely useless. It just prolongs the game. And, and at the time, it, it, it works. It, it's a good standard. I, I originally played Compass Pass is because my thought was I could just get used to get some tokens and link climb. That's why I have a, a extra deck period card card D just to draw more card. It that's useful because I could just set and destroy this and end my phase get two cards. Dark Hole to Winter Tribute, just wipe the field of my poor monster. It, 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 I pretty much just um just desserts. If like 500 points of damage for each monster they control, so pretty much if they have like five or six, if they since we don't play, we honestly don't play that much monsters, if any, if they try to extra link you, then like they've taken or like 35 points of damage best. Um, Suki Blast, like, um, that's a win win call for me because, um, if they destroy, they take a thousand points of damage and. And if I if I can at least get get them to have four monsters on the field, then they they're taking twelve hundred points of damage. This is only useful though when they have like four monsters, because it it's like three hundred points of damage for each card they control. So four cards, not monsters. But at the same time, it's like I don't really. At the same time, it's like unless they have four cards on the field, then it's completely then it's might as well just be destroyed by them. So. I'm I'm going to place probably place here Merit here Merit with um one day apiece and legacy of the yacht. We got Swords Reveal Light to help stall for like three turns, and that's basically it. So yeah, so yeah, so basically I'm just want to try to be a troll with this deck. Um, I'm I'm actually a fan of the anime Black Clover and the character Zoro was who, and I guess his father by extension or what well, basically just the character Zoro is what inspired me to make this deck. And if you guys think this deck can be better anyway, like please just leave a comment or just make your own video of, of pretty much this trap deck. And peace.